Amen. Praise the Lord. New Rises Church. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is day number 11. That's right. Day number 11 of 31 days of praying about the windows of opportunity and the doors of destiny in your life. I'm reading each day a passage of scripture that speaks to those windows of opportunity and doors of destiny. And I'm praying that God will help you to recognize and realize when those opportunities present themselves that you might maximize the moment and walk into the destiny that God has for you. Today, again, we're going to be reading from Genesis chapter 7 and verse 16 from the New King James Version of God's Word. It says, So those that entered, male and female, of all flesh, went in as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. At the close of that verse of verse 16 of Genesis chapter 7, it says, and the Lord shut him in. This passage is talking about when God commanded Noah to build an ark according to God's specifications because he was going to cause it to rain on the earth. And when God uh, gave Noah those instructions, he built the ark and God gave him instruction as to who was to inhabit the ark. And as those animals came in and Noah's family came in and finally Noah came into that ark, The Bible says that there was a door on the ark and the Lord himself shut Noah, his family and the animals on the ark. And there are times in our lives where God will shut us in. He will close doors in our lives. And every closed door is not a negative. Some closed doors are positives. And that's what we want to pray about today, that we will want to thank God for closing some doors in our lives, for shutting us in, for closing us in, to help us to make it through the storms of life, to help us make it through what's coming up next in life. So let's thank God today for closing doors in our lives. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you, we honor you, and bless and praise you, God. We lift you up and magnify you. God, we glorify you. We we adore you, God. We extol you. We exalt you. God, we we declare that you are great, hallelujah, and you are greatly to be praised. Lord, from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same, Jesus, your name is to be praised. Everywhere and at all times, God, you deserve the glory, the praise, and the honor. For Lord God, you are God all by yourself. You are the Lord of lords and the King of kings. You are our Savior. You are the lover and the keeper of our souls. Lord, you are our Father, and you are in heaven. Your name is holy, your name is righteous, and your name is to be praised. So we pause at this moment in our day to just give you the praise and glory you so richly deserve. God, we bask in your presence. You told us to come into your presence with thanksgiving and to enter into your courts with praise and to be thankful and to bless your name. So, God, we set aside our cares and concerns for today, and we just thank and bless you and praise you for who you are and what you mean to each one of us in our lives. Lord, you told us to love you with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul. And so we do that today. And you told us to love each other even as we love ourselves. So as we go throughout our day, God, help us to love you, to love ourselves, and to love each other. And Lord, we thank you today, according to Genesis chapter 7 and 16, that you use opportunities to close doors in our lives. And sometimes, Lord, we've had doors closed in our face. Sometimes, Lord, we've had doors closed around us. Sometimes we've had doors closed behind us. And sometimes, Lord, those doors closing have not felt good. But like Noah, Lord, sometimes you close doors to protect us. Sometimes you close doors to secure us. Sometimes you close doors to keep us safe from the storms of life. And so, Lord God, today we thank you for closed doors. We thank you for closing doors. Lord, we thank you for closing doors on relationships that meant us harm and that did not mean us any good. Lord, we have the faith today to thank you for closing doors on business opportunities and job opportunities that had storms coming and we didn't see it coming. And you closed the door to protect us from the storms. Lord, we thank you for closed doors 
and opportunities that we thought should have been open, but you decided it was time for them to close. And so, Lord God, we trust you that when you close one door, you plan to open up another. So, Lord God, we thank you for closed doors today. We thank you for your security today. We thank you for salvation in Jesus today. We thank you for helping us to sail through the storms because you closed the doors ahead of time. Lord God, I pray that somebody today would be grateful for what you've closed in their lives, recognizing that if you closed one door, you'll open another. And until then, God, we'll be found praising and glorifying you and magnifying you for the doors that you've already closed, as well as for the doors you're going to open. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, our scripture today came from Genesis chapter 7, verse 16. So those that entered male and female of all flesh went in as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. Amen. We praised God today for closed doors. If you'll be so kind as to uh, subscribe to the channel, you'll get the daily devotionals as they come out as well as if you wouldn't mind sharing this uh, YouTube channel so that someone else can help. Uh, we can help somebody else by praying with them through windows of opportunity and doors of destiny. I love you in the Lord. I get the privilege to pray for you each day. Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow to pray for you. Be victorious. God bless.